Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel, Miss Reem Healings, my name is Reem, and welcome into your mandala reading, energy reading for the week ahead. We're going to pick a page from the mandala source book, we're going to read the mandala, channel the energy, go to some oracles, um, go to the tarot, any anywhere that we're guided for the message, the messages that need to come through for us. All right, so... Let's take a deep breath in. And out. Beautiful, soft. There's a softness to an energy, which is interesting because a lot of these energies <laughs> lately in the planets and all of this busy time in the sky for the month of December, it's really, really crazy, a lot going on. Um, but for some reason, there's a softness to today and there's a softness of the week. So let's see, let's see what this is. Thank you, Archangel Michael, for your protection. Thank you, ancestors known and unknown. Thank you to my great-grandmother, Nyla, for your presence and your guidance and your healing. Thank you, Spirit of the Most High. What messages do you have for us? What messages do you have for us? Which mandala? Oh, three popped up, but we want just one. Let's try that again. There we go. You have number 64. 64. I think this is in the category nature. Yes, it is. Okay. Fire around the lotus. This is in the category nature. Fire around the lotus. Here, the deeply spiritual lotus is surrounded by a ring of fire, suggesting purification. This mandala also shows a four-gated palace, denoting shelter or safety, universal order, and the balance of the opposites. So male and female, light and dark, action and feeling. Start by contemplating the outer ring of fire, a complex symbol with overtones of purification through destruction. The light of wisdom and regeneration, you are not afraid to burn off your attachments. This is, I'm getting goosebumps because this, this is so timely right now. This is everything that we've been channeling. This is everything that we've been talking about this purification process, this destructive energy, this chaos energy that is taking place right now to burn and remove attachments for the light of wisdom and regeneration energy to take place. If you watched your um, readings for the month of December, this is what was channeled. This is what was channeled, a regeneration, a renewal. Back in the day, they believed the solar, the winter solstice, um, it was actually, it was referred to as the Yule, and they believed that the goddess moon energy gave birth to the sun 
for um, this healing and regenerative energy. So this is really, really timely of everything that we have been channeling. Um, really powerful stuff. Really powerful stuff. So let's keep going. I'm just getting really excited, even though I seem really calm. <laughs> I'm really excited that all of this is tying into what we've been channeling. All right. Now look at the lotus which flowers within your mind as your spiritual vision becomes focused. Lastly, take your mind into the four-gated palace at the heart of the mandala. Awakened as you are, you find the emptiness of the palace immeasurably rich and nourishing. You are at peace. Words are only painted fire. A look is the fire itself by Mark Twain. I'm going to show you the mandala again. There's a lot of things taking place here. Universal order, restoring balance, destructive energy, and chaotic energy is taking place right now. And we have to surrender to it. We have to go with it because it is removing things that are no longer needed, not only within us, but within the world. These systems, structures, governments, authority, everything is shifting and changing. Okay, I channeled a turning point. There's going to be a turning point collectively in the collective consciousness within yourself and within the world globally. Big, big shifts. Big, big shifts. Okay. Sorry, guys. I don't necessarily have a really good place to put things, but I'm going to try. All right. I think that'll do. Okay, spirit. So let's see where we're guided. Um, I do want to go to the Sufi Wisdom Oracle deck. I just kind of saw it calling me. So let's see. We're going to pull some oracles here. Enchanted maps. Sufi. And... Let's see what goddess comes through, and we'll use the um, the light seer's tarot for this. Okay. All right. I went live yesterday, impromptu, talked about my shadow work, my inner wounds, and how I healed through that, all that distortion that I was carrying around for so long. Had some tears with you guys, some laughter. I saved the video for about five hours and then I took it down. Um, felt really vulnerable, felt really out there, and it's a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So I deleted it, but um, I will be making a more, and I was shaking a lot <laughs> just because of all, I'm recalibrating to a new energy of myself, my truth. So my body is recalibrating to this new frequency and um, had a lot of internet issues during the live. So I will be making a more formal video um, talking through my shadow work, um, things that I did, my, my experiences. I won't go into too much detail um, as I did in the live. It was just kind of a conversation with the tribe that was um, just in the flow of it. But I will be making a more formal video about it. All right. All right. What messages do you have for us? 
during this destruction, this chaotic month, this energy. <laughs> Look at this. Do not be frustrated. Let go and feel peaceful. Look at the shadow. Look at this restriction. Look at this attachment. Look at this beautiful age of Aquarius star here just shining, being illuminated. This is the light of the universe, this luminous energy that is being directed onto you here, coming down within you, coming down to you, descending onto you, healing you with this luminous light. As you face the shadow, as you face your inner wounds, as you face and release restrictions, that's exactly what this mandala was talking about. I feel like for a lot of you who are really into meditation or really need that, you know, visualization for healing, um, you can heal in many different ways. You can release detachments in many different ways, but you can use this guidance of this mandala, meditate as if there's a ring of fire around you and this ring of fire is destruction and chaos. It is a purification energy to to remove attachments. They actually use the word to burn off attachments. You are not afraid to burn off attachments. Let go and feel peaceful. And here they said, take your mind into the four gated palace at the heart of the mandala. Awakened as you are, you find the emptiness of the palace immeasurably rich and nourishing. You are at peace. And this card says, let go and feel peaceful. The energies of this month are going to be insane. They are. They're already just absolutely crazy because we're getting ready for the shift, the turning point, the universal order, the restoration of balance, a new energy, a new frequency. Things are going to change. Something beautiful is happening and we are releasing attachments that we just don't no longer need this is not just again within the self but it starts within the self okay it starts within the self it's going to happen globally if you watched my level find its truth reading i got a vision that this new energy was descending onto thousands of people millions maybe i don't know it was a love frequency just like the star energy, this healing essence, this light to heal the shadow and the inner wounds, okay? But you have to face it and you have to go there. It's not easy, but you have to do it, all right? And here you have magic stream. Look at this. Purification is everywhere. You have the ring of fire, ring around the lotus. You are this beautiful lotus. And you have here the magic stream. So you have fire by purification and you have water by purification here. Drink lots of water. When you're in the shower, you can meditate that you are releasing negativity or old, older energies, releasing your attachments. Number 18, which is number nine of endings. So you have two powerful forces fire and water both of the physical world both of the natural world healing distorted frequencies and attachments this is like magic stream it looks really peaceful but the way that it's coming across to me is as if it's a tsunami Goddess says, what, what message do you have for us? What messages do you have for us? So 
Calmation, number 15. This is green Tara. This is of the heart chakra. Look at all this beautiful green. Goddess green Tara here. Salvation. Number 17, which is number 8. Look at this. 13 at the bottom. Look, you have the past. The past and new beginnings. Underneath that you have uh, Mary, 31. Miracles. So you have 36 here, the past. Goddess Nimosin, and you have number 13 here, Loister, New Beginnings. So this is about releasing the past and moving forward to a new beginning. Okay, we're moving forward to a new beginning. We're releasing attachments. We're going through a purification process here. We're releasing the past and we're moving into the new beginning. Look at the colors of the these two cards as well. I'm seeing a common uh, color palette here of the past and this distortion that is the attachments, these lower energies, these lower vibrations, these distorted thoughts, illusions, okay? This is also learning from the past. Okay, learn from what you have gone through. Um, don't be stuck in it. You know, don't dwell in the past. Or try not to dwell in the past. I don't like saying don't. Um, but try not to be stuck there. Okay, learn from the past. And release and let go. So they're saying let go of the past here. Okay, and the attachments. There's a new moon on this beautiful goddess here the new moon in Sagittarius okay it's number 13 we have the new moon in Sagittarius on December 14th you have here 41 Pravati devotion and Listia home 21 and this is so interesting because Jupiter and Saturn have the conjunction on December 21st and look at home. This to me is like this this restoration is coming uh, like full circle as the planets uh, come into conjunction and it's going to be the closest conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn since, since, since 1623. They're going to be 0 0.1 degrees apart Okay, and you can look at them through the naked eye. They're going to look as one home. This to me is Jupiter and Saturn energy. This is to say, keep on your path. Pravati is saying, be devoted. Okay, you are, you're showing that you are devoted to your truth. You're showing that you are being devoted to your healing, to your path. Okay, your devotion is recognized. Your hard work is being recognized. Use these physical forces of fire and water, these physical forces of our natural world to purify and burn off and wash away your attachments. This is what this energy is saying. Okay, you're gonna find salvation, new beginnings, and a restored home. Okay, this is Mother Earth. This is also our soul, okay? It's beautiful energy. All right, let's get into the tarot and see if there are any other messages for us. This is a really strong week. This energy feels like it's going to be throughout the whole month. Okay, thank you. What other messages do you have for us, please? 
What other messages do you have for us? The tower. Wow. I mean, just again, more of this destructive energy, this destructive force, this chaos. Removing, burning off and washing away attachments. This energy is striking down. Like I was feeling in that in that reading, love will find its truth. It was descending so quickly. These energies are really rapid. This change, this transformation, this metamorphosis of yourself, okay? Because it starts within you. This is creating this ripple effect onto the whole world on a global scale. I'm feeling a lot of like natural world forces, you know, shifting our mother earth, but also this restoration of universal order, right? And the balance of the opposites, okay? Even like Jupiter and Saturn, these balance of these opposites as they come into conjunction on the 21st, 21. male and female or feminine and divine masculine energies divine feminine divine masculine um light and dark i've been talking about that a lot um action and feeling okay balance of the opposites these are big big changes big changes Tower was also the very first card in the tarot and the love will find its truth reading, but we used the, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, we used the wild unknown for that, not the light seer's tarot. So the theme, the energies, they're talking to us. They want us to let go and feel peaceful. We're part of this huge transformation and again, it starts with us. Six of Cups, the past. Look at this. Six of Cups, the past. Healing inner child, healing inner wounds, okay? Distorted um, memories or distorted illusions, anything of the past that you are attached to, okay? That is no longer serving you, letting go of that. That's what this is telling me. The devil. I mean, it's the same energy. Attachments, restrictions. Look at this. You know what I feel? We're no longer going to be puppets in this world. Systems are changing. Structures are changing. Government, they're changing. Truths are going to be revealed. I was having this beautiful conversation with my friend, Gally. Hi, Gally. Um, and she put it so beautifully as we were talking about this and in this collaboration energy of just going back and forth and talking. And she was saying the underdogs are going to come on top. There's going to be a shift, a turning point of the world, of this energy. We're no longer going to be attached, okay? But again, it starts within you, okay? It's, it all starts within the self. So this devil energy is again talking about these restrictions. You are not afraid to burn off your attachments. No, you're not. Let go. Look, let go and feel peaceful. Sorry if I'm shaking. I don't think I'm shaking. Am I shaking? Kind of, not really. <laughs> I'm still recalibrating in, in this new energy of mine into this new frequency. All right, let's see. What other messages do you have for us? What other messages do you have for us? What other messages do you have for us? You have here the High Priestess and the Sun, another life force. And what did I say in the beginning? I said on December 21st, the winter solstice, the goddess moon energy, the goddess divine feminine energy, the moon, 
gives birth to the sun. This regeneration, this renewal, revitalization, energy, another life force, another destructive energy, another chaotic en energy of the sun. So you have here fire, you have here water, you have the sun, also fire energy, right? This is... This is powerful stuff. And look at the sun. The sun is... I read for Sagittarius that um, this was very symbolic of a transaction with the sun. A transaction with these physical forces that are assisting us in removing our attachments. So we have to go to the natural world. Rustling Around talks about this, about going and sitting under a tree and giving back to Mother Earth, a transaction, right? Look at this beautiful energy that's coming from the sun. And this necklace of this person is being magnetically pulled into the sun, this transaction. I was even, like, the sun is giving you this renewal energy, giving you this life force energy to remove your restrictions. To remove your restrictions. Devil energy. Right? We already talked about this. Okay. And it's like, it's giving, as you release and you surrender to it, it provides you with this renewal. You're giving away, you're burning off your attachments here, you're letting it go, and then the sun provides you with this beautiful healing energy of renewal, regeneration. I talked about this um, in my yesterday's live where goddess Isis was around me and I constantly felt, because she's all about rebirth and healing, okay? And I constantly felt as if whenever I felt her presence, I would feel like I was doing an exchange. I was giving her something away for myself that I didn't need anymore. And she was returning something back to me. It's like returning a piece of myself. This restoration energy, this renewal, this new energy, new frequency. And you're fully aligned here with the high priestess. You're aligned to your truth. Here with the High Priestess, you're, you're aligning here. Look at this new moon again. Right? We have two new moon. Look at where the new moons are. At the crown and the third eye. The new moon in Sagittarius. You're aligning to this new energy. Some of you are going to have powerful dreams, powerful psychic insight, visions during this time. Um, sorry, but my ponytail so tight. Um... Okay, there's an activation here with the High Priestess within your soul because you're aligned. You're aligned to what you know. It's like you already know this. It's like your higher selves knows this. A lot of you are becoming heightened channels. Okay, you're also balancing these opposites. Look at this energy. Look at this dark energy here and this light energy here. Do you see that? You are understanding universal order and the balance of the opposites look at that there is no separation there is none release and heal the negativity the shadow self okay which is very different than darkness and destruction energy look at what the destruction energy wants to bring in for you the destruction energy wants to bring in healing energy because it is destruction energy is healing it brings and releases and removes what is no longer needed to recreate to renew to begin anew okay within the self first and then on to the world you gotta go you gotta go into the depths of yourself this is the perfect perfect month to do that the perfect month to do that with these energies. Powerful, powerful stuff. Can we get a final message, please? Can we get a final message, please? 
All right, we got two. Look at this, the world again, number 21. I believe, um, if I'm not mistaken, the world is Saturn. <laughs> Look, you have double 21 here. The Saturn and Jupiter conjunction, home, the world, the completion. What did I say? When you look at the sky when on the December 21st, um, I think it was 1500 GMT time, if I'm not mistaken, Russell mentioned this to me and I, for I forgot it, but um, when you look up at the sky, you can see them with the naked eye. They're going to look as one. Look at this beautiful energy, the circular energy. It's like everything is coming full circle, home, renewal, new beginnings. The end is the beginning. The beginning is the end, right? This continuum, this universal order, right? It's so beautiful. So beautiful. You have the six of swords. This is peace. This is the transition to peace. I talk about I talked about this in my channelings, um, where um, they channeled to me the invisible phase, the transition from going from the old to the new. The transition phase of going from one state to another is an invisible phase. Okay, six of swords energy, peace, and again. Awakened as you are, you find the emptiness of the palace immeasurably rich and nourishing. You are at peace. Six of Swords. This transition to peace. Okay, look how peaceful you are here with the Queen of Swords. This peace energy is coming through here with the Queen of Swords. It's very much all within the mind. Okay, a lot of it is shifting within the mind of what we think, of what we believe, of what we perceive, okay? There's like this, um, the perception is, uh, there's, what are they saying? Perception is becoming clear, okay? You're going to be perceiving things in a new way, in a new order here with the world, perceiving it in a new order. It's like when I came out of my shadow, <clears throat> I saw myself and I looked at the world in a new, from new vision, from new eyes, from a new perspective. It's like you're having clearer thoughts. You're having a clearer vision. You're having a clearer perception, okay? And open your heart because heart chakra healing is here that's needing to take place okay open yourself up to the healing okay but this is peaceful energy here with the queen of swords so that's the final message of this mandala reading i hope you enjoyed i hope it resonated with you thank you so much for being here with me i love you guys so very much and I'm going to go ahead and get ready and do, um, I have Taurus, Aquarius, Virgo, um, and Libra uh, for the month of December and the planetary energy reading. So I'm going to go and get um, to as much as I can today. Thank you guys.